वेलकम बैक आई एम फ्रॉम एक्सप्लोरिंग एक्सेल माई सेल्फ अमेर दाभोलकर यू कैन ई मेल मी एट एक्सप्लोरिंग ऑफिस एक्सेल एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम दिस इज वीडियो नंबर फिफ्टीन टू रिकॉर्ड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वर्क बुक ओपन एंड वर्क बुक सेव लेट्स मूव ऑन टू अवर शीट दिस इज टोटली न्यू शीट बुक वन बट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू रिकॉर्ड द हाउ मेनी टाइम्स अ वर्क बुक गेट्स ओपन एंड वर्क बुक गेट सेव it is mostly you can see the continuation part of the of the workbook open argument to count how many times a workbook gets open the all the records were shown in the cell a1 like i have uh, i have in the name box i have named it as a uh, counter in the vba going to the uh, uh, this this workbook i have just counter equals to counter plus 1 this time it counts how many times a workbook gets open but this time it will list how many times at what time the workbook got open and uh, date it's all things will be listed here that is the basic advantage of this first thing i am going to show you how many time how many times a workbook gets open so this right here login login mm, login date and time date and time Okay, so I am just going to write a small piece of code here. In going to the Visual Basic, uh, here it will list all the times a workbook got open. Okay, so I will just going to write a short, a uh, small piece of code. Going to develop a tab, then Visual Basics. Now I am not going to insert any module, but instead I am going to this workbook. As I shown uh, earlier in that lesson, the link is below the description. Just uh, do watch that video about the counter equals to counter plus one. It was a great night demonstration. Now, when I select the workbook argument, it automatically sets as a workbook open. You have uh, many other arguments here which I will use later in this video only, or maybe I require another video. So I will just write a small piece of code here. I will explain you the code later. as the first i want to just write the demonstration of the code then i will explain so i will first thing i will first dim the variable dim empty row as long long means it is a big big type of this range means big going down and down so on long then empty row equals to now one thing i have to just notice uh, one thing i am just going to tell you we don't directly write the count a function directly so we have to put it under a uh, argument known as worksheet function basically first i dim the variable then i set the variable is a basic rule of programming like first you have to dimming a variable then setting it the way setting the variable and the using the variable when one, one follows this rule is a specific step of programming i dim the variable as long me specifically i have dim the variable as long then i set the variable equals to a uh, 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 worksheet function count a range and all then i use that variable this is a basic three step programming you can just say no i will explain you about how i have just clicked it so i first i will write worksheet worksheet function function dot now i will use the work inbuilt worksheet function like count a count a now i will just write the range inside the nested functions you can just say range a is to a sorry a close then plus 1 i will explain you every the code in a bit moment now i will just see cells then whatever i draw index is whatever i dim here empty row dim means determining the variable so i will empty by row comma 1 column index dot value equals to date and time date and double quote and and time okay this uh, this overs my workbook open code now i will explain you this code uh, i will explain you this code in the excel sheet so that you can enlarge it and see this code okay 
Now this is a small sort of code here I have used. Uh, this is a uh, private sub workbook open and then end sub. First I dim the variable dim empty row as long. I have dimmed the variable as empty row. Uh, as long means uh, this will be very expandable ranges like this will set first this then the next thing now I have just set it an empty row equals to worksheet function whenever you are representing any worksheet you have to just use the two things one thing is application dot worksheet function means you are specifying the type you are using or else you can just use worksheet function okay these two things you can use worksheet function count a this is basically the count function I mean it will the count which is the empty row means I have just written a random data here equals to rand soups equals to r a n d all the data I have written it will count how many time and it will state which is the next empty row but when only I write worksheet function dot count a range a is to a then it will just count up till this this is the last used cell but it will I want to go to the another cell next cell and I have to write the date and time here so I have just written plus one so this is the basic more important code here like worksheet function it represents to the worksheet then count what is the range for counting a to a a to a means start from a and end from a you can just see equals to this or you can just see when you create the upward arrow it will just show range a to a in short if you create if you select the c column it will show c to c that is how the full o is referenced rather than referencing from c to shift down it will also do the same thing or one uh, or any other things so this then I have just used cells. Cells property means it will represent the cells in a row. Empty row means what is the row index? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are the row index. So what will be the empty row? Means empty row will generate a number. And then that number will be the row number. Okay. So this is number. So empty row. Suppose it generates this as empty. So what is the number 8? So the 8 comma 1 means it will be this. Okay, as a graph plotting method, the cells function is used. Dot value equals to date. Date is an inbuilt function in VBA which will automatically insert the date. And I have just to double quote space double quotes. Means it will use a space uh, between date and time. Time is also an inbuilt function. Some of the inbuilt function. When you write the date, it will just insert the date here. Okay, this much only the type of a code I need now. I will just run that code. Firstly, I will just put an F8 key to debugging method. Okay, so workbook open. This see, you can just see the worksheet function empty row. Empty row is now 2. It is set here. This is 2 because first row is filled with login date and time. And the next row is here. So now cells dot empty row comma value means empty row is two comma one means two comma one date and time. See it will automatically insert the date, current date and time. And then stop. I will just save you and show you this how this uh, this thing is done. But but still I will uh, first I will save and show you. First save it in my desktop. I will name it as workbook open save ok oops ah, it contains a VBA feature so you have to save it as an macro enable workbook save I have saved it now I will close this workbook ok and open the desktop hmm? Workbook open and save. So it will run the code. In the next row, it will add that data. That this time it's open. See, it's working. It's working fine. Next time again, when you will open, the same thing is recorded again and again. So I think uh, this is the end of the session of workbook open.
but in uh, but firstly i will show you workbook dot save you and what does this do so instead i will just go to developer tab visual basics i am just screening one more thing now i am going to see going to the again workbook and now open i am instead selecting this before save okay so it will create a new i will just copy this control c and control v i will just paste it the code here but i will just make uh, some changes i will do a cup i will do the range a a a is to a to is b is to b then then column number i will make it as 2 rest all thing will be same i will your number of save i will just write save save now i will just use here going home sorry home tab on my printer okay see it working it's working i just now my basically put this save when i again put see it's working when at what time i save this time so it's working fine and when i close and op reopen it's again working now if you want to count how many times you can just use the count function for this like count this to this or count this to this or you can use unless count this minus 1 as you know that uh, minus 1 is heading so this type of uh, code you can use here in this this code same nothing difference is there in this code same nothing difference is there in this code only it is saved under different thing like workbook before save event rest all things are same so um, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe to watch more videos on the exploring excel youtube channel and have a great day uh thanks for watching again